Okay, the next part we're going to talk about is overhead, how to calculate your overhead for your different enterprises. And uh, once again, this spreadsheet is available under the Ranch Practicum website and under the unit cost of production information. Right there, you'll see the overhead worksheet. So uh, we're working on this for the Lugnut Ranch. And uh, so when we bring up this overhead worksheet, uh, just like all the sheets, you work from the tabs left to right. So starting at the far left tab is the overhead worksheet tab. And what we do here is we essentially just list out both our equipment and our buildings. And we'll start with equipment. And so for the Lugnut Ranch, uh, you see we've got a main pickup. Uh, this pickup is valued at about $20,000 in its current condition. And then we divide it among the enterprises. So for the Lugnut Ranch, again, we have cow-calf. And so this pickup, about 40% of its annual use goes to the cow herd. About 20% of its use goes to the haying operation. About 20% goes to the stockers. And about 20% goes to the land. So we divide that percentage across. And then the spreadsheet does the math, calculating across those various values that are attributed to each enterprise. Now, one caveat with dividing out overhead this way. Um, obviously, if you step back and think about it, if, if this ranch decided to get out of the haying business, but yet did not sell this pickup, uh, then these allocations would have to be changed. And so uh, just like we can't split a pickup into four equal pieces, uh, you have to enter into this with your eyes wide open and realize that if you're allocating these overheads, like we're doing in this uh, exercise here to these various enterprises, if we change the makeup of enterprises, uh, we need to reallocate the overhead. So if you're considering doing something like getting out of the haying business, and uh, let's look at this tractor, for example. We've got a $50,000 tractor. If we're not going to sell that $50,000 tractor, we're going to keep it, uh, then, these, th then the cow-calf herd is going to have to absorb all the rest of that tractor. Essentially, that'll move to 100% there. So uh, there's some things to consider. Uh, there's some dangers with uh, allocating these overheads like we've done. But if you enter into it with your eyes wide open and, and realize what you're doing, you can account for those and, and make decisions that are that are understanding of that. So, so we looked at the main pickup. Uh, we do that with each piece of equipment on the ranch um, and, and allocate those overheads based upon their percentages to the various things. So what we're trying to get at is a total equipment value that is supporting the cow-calf enterprise, the haying enterprise, each enterprise on the ranch. So for this example on the Lugnut Ranch, uh, the cow-calf enterprise needs about $81,500 worth of equipment uh, that it's going to support each year. And then we'll show you what we do with that. The, the haying enterprise uses about $210,000 worth of equipment, and the stocker is about seventeen, and the land about $6,700. So moving on to the buildings, we do the same thing with the buildings. Uh, make a list of those buildings, uh, corrals, sheds. Uh, you can put homes in here and assign those to the land enterprise or however you choose uh, if, if that land enterprise is responsible for paying of upkeep and uh, depreciation of, of those homes and other buildings. So uh, sa same way there. So then move on to the next tab. And this is what we call the Dirty Five. And Dirty Five stands for depreciation, interest, repairs, taxes, and insurance. And these are the different sources of overhead that we're going to charge against uh, against these uh, equipment and buildings. So for example, if we look at equipment and depreciation, we're going to suggest on equipment that you take 10% depreciation a year uh, on your interest. And again, here are our, here are our suggested numbers. Uh, and then you get a chance to put in your own numbers. So um, on interest, if you're paying interest on that, and plug that in there. If you're not paying interest, you can leave that as a zero. Uh, repairs, again, uh, for our equipment, we're going to look at 2%. And then insurance, the cost of insuring those things, we're going to suggest 1% on that. So our numbers suggest on equipment that if you're not not paying and not not including interest on those you should use 13 percent to cover depreciation and repairs and recognize depreciation and repairs are the two big ones um, so you can change those numbers for example if you say well you know i use old machinery and most of my stuff's well depreciated it's not going to depreciate 10 percent a year then then you can change that number and let's say you you feel like five percent a year would be more accurate well, then you get down here in repairs, and if you're running newer machinery that's depreciating 10% a year, we'd suggest you use two. So if you're going to say I'm using older machinery that's depreciating 5% a year, then, then you might want to pull this number up to, say, six. 
Okay, so your number might be 12. It's just in a different your total your total dirty factor might be 12. It's just to help handled in different categories. So whatever those numbers are, uh, plug them in there, and uh, and what you come out with is this total number. And then you bring that across in this last, uh, or it actually it takes care of it here. Uh, if you do it for each of these, and generally for each of the different enterprises, we leave them the same. You'll see cow calf, hay, stockers, and land are all the same. It does allow you to change those if you see that they that they are different. So we're going to use 13% on our equipment and 8% on our um, buildings. And then you see it does the math for us. So for our cow calf enterprise, uh, our total equipment inventory is 81,500. We're using 13% as our dirty factor. So our yearly overhead that our, we're going to charge our business to support this equipment inventory is about $10,600. Uh, so essentially what that says is the cow calf business is going to contribute $10,600 towards the annual depreciation and repair bill for the equipment inventory on the ranch. You can see that each of these other businesses have some they contribute as well. So at the end of the year, we're going to have a about $41,000 worth of uh, contributions that all of our various enterprises have made towards making the repair and replacement costs of all the equipment on the ranch. So this is where you kind of give these numbers a gut check. And if you're looking at that and thinking, yeah, you know, if I had $41,000 every year, I could repair everything uh, in terms of my equipment on the ranch. And when something comes up and needs to be replaced, I'll have the, the cash reserves to replace that. Uh, if if that number makes sense to you, then then uh, then your dirty factors are probably pretty close to being right. If that number is too low, if you know it's going to take more, then you need to go back here and raise these percentages. So maybe say 11 and 3 or whatever it's going to take to, to make you comfortable with those numbers. If that uh, bottom line number is way too high, then you can change those numbers and, and lower them a little bit. And same thing on the buildings. Uh, all the enterprises are going to contribute about $27,000 a year uh, towards keeping the buildings updated and, and, in, re and in repair. So, uh, so that's how our overhead sheet works. Then you go to each of the various spreadsheets um, that, that we're working with. And uh, we'll look at the land because maybe you've already, as you've been watching these videos, perhaps you've already covered that one. In the land business, again, here we see our equipment invested was $7,600, our 13% dirty factor, so there's the amount of overhead uh, that the land business is going to be charged, and then that's pulled across into the summary tab right there as well. So, so that's how our overhead works for each of the different spreadsheets and enterprises that we're going to consider.